Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika. Welcome to Global Ali Mixing Paint channel where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the creative fabrica because I see that many of you guys are having problems regarding their payout stuff. You don't know like how to get the payout and also regarding a uh, single sale uh, payout or a subscription payout. Like you are getting confused whether people are buying your single sale or subscription and like what is there regarding the payout of the creative fabrica and the payment for the especially for the designer and apart from that i'm going to also talk about their new feature which they have recently launched especially for the designer so stick till the end guys because this video will be junk pack information especially talking about the creative fabrica so let's get straight with that and before going into the good part consider clicking on the like button guys i really appreciate that now if you want the various freebies for setting up your online stuff for making money with the print on demand kdp or even just making money as an artist or creative entrepreneur then i have a bunch of the free stuff the link of that free guys and free stuff in the description box below you can download it out and can use them okay guys talking about the creative fabrica they have recently launched the new feature so i got an email from the creative fabrica i guess it was on 14 or 15 april i don't remember the exact date but uh, I'm just going to read the email guys and for you guys if you don't know the new feature uh, launch and how you can use it for your own benefit. So the new feature announcement you can now update your preview image and graphic files which is awesome guys. Before that you can't preview your image and graphic files which you were uploading onto the Creative Fabrica. So hi there, welcome back to a designer newsletter. We have recently added two new exciting features to the designer dashboard. Be sure to check them out below. So the preview images. So if you are a designer selling under the Creative Fabrica, you can relate to this thing very well. Like the preview images. From now, you can update your preview images directly from your designer dashboard for fonts, graphics, and embroidery designs. That means the dis uh, image that you have placed for your products onto the Creative Fabrica. That's a preview image. You can call it as a thumbnail or you can call it as a listing image. Whatever you can name it, the image which shows uh, talking about your product, what you're selling, what it's all about, you can change it right now. Before that, there was not at all a feature to change it. You just need to email them and tell them that you want to change something about your product or you want to update your listing or update your product. You, before that, you need to send them an email to do that. But now you can change your preview image. You can also remove the previously set preview image and you can update the new one which is awesome guys when we have the tools in our hands we don't need to send them an email and then to follow up with them to change them now we have the tool in our hand so this is an awesome feature for the design and i have been waiting for a very really long time for this feature onto the Creative Fabrica because I have changed a few of my product listings by sending them an email and all that. Of course, their email support is so amazing. Like they have having the good email support, a good community support for the designer, which I really appreciate that, which I didn't found in any other third party websites or platform currently. I find it on the Creative Fabrica. Their community support, their email support is awesome, especially for the designers. So I changed a bunch of my preview images by sending them an email and updated my products and all. So this was a feature I've been waiting for a very long time. And now they have launched this feature. So that is the first feature. Now the second feature is update graphic files. You can now update your own download files for graphics only directly from your designer dashboard. So most of the people are selling the graphics, like if you're selling the phones, then it's a different case. Or even if you're selling the embroidery or something else, then it's different. But for the graphics, you can change the graphic files. That means you are uploading a zip files onto the graphic, especially for the graphics. And now you can update them once you have finished uploading it. So you can go to the designer dashboard and you can update your file and you can drag and drop the new zip files. And yeah. So this is an awesome two new features, two new features that Creative Fabrica have been launched recently, I guess on 14 or 15 April, I got an email from them. So if you are a designer, then you might also have received an email from them. If you didn't guys, then go check it out on your designer dashboard. You can change the preview images and you can also update your graphic files. 
which is awesome the new feature now let's talk about this i'm going to talk about the payment stuff because uh, i've been getting a lot of the comments and people have a little bit of confusion about it so i think that i'm gonna help you solve that confusion so if you just go over to your earnings section on your designer dashboard and near the wallet near the wallet there is a small eye icon and if you just click on that small eye icon it will going to tell you something the basically there are the three different types of the payment stuff that you can see onto the creative fabrica especially for a designer i'm talking from a designer perspective not from a buyer perspective and it's, I'm not talking about the affiliate system over here, guys. I'm not talking about the affiliate. Affiliate is a separate topic to talk about. But I'm just talking about a designer. You're going to get paid by the three ways onto the Creative Fabrica. So let me tell you the first way is that you have uploaded your work. You have uploaded your graphics, art, whatever you have uploaded onto Creative Fabrica. No one have purchased from you or no one uh, have downloaded your stuff. You're going to get paid. That is a first method. When items are not downloaded, you will receive a small percentage of subscription revenue. I hope it, it is clear to you guys that if you have uploaded just your work onto the Creative Fabrica, until now no one have purchased them or no one have downloaded from their subscription or single sale, whatever it is, then you're going to get paid because you have uploaded those stuff onto the Creative Fabrica, it's their business model, guys. That's why I talk a lot about that. You're just getting paid out for uploading stuff onto the Creative Fabrica. No other platform is giving you that opportunity to uh, upload your work onto the platform and they're going to pay you for that. So that is the unique thing about the Creative Fabrica because of their business model. That I was literally saying a lot in my videos, guys, if you have been following me so far. And if you want to check the bunch of the Creative Fabrica videos, be talking about it and how to get an approval, various things, you can check in the card section, the complete playlist of the Creative Fabrica. So that is the first thing, guys. Keep in mind, when items are not downloaded, you will receive a small percentage of revenue subscription, subscription revenue. Even if no one is downloading your stuff, even if you, no one is purchasing from you, you're going to get money. Okay. The second thing, the second is a single sales without any subscription. The single sales, whenever somebody purchases your items directly, the single sale purchases you're gonna see in the reporting section of to the Creative Fabrica. Please keep in mind, guys, when you go into the reporting section of the Creative Fabrica, you're gonna see the people who have purchased from you, what are the products they have purchased from you, how much you're getting out of it, and various details regarding that sale you can see in the reporting section on of your designer dashboard, especially for the single sales. Now the third type of payout is the payment is the subscription downloads. When a subscriber downloads items, that means if someone has subscribed to the Grey Fabrica, their monthly subscription, and they are downloading your stuff in that monthly subscription, then you're gonna get payout by that. So these are the three different ways in which you can get paid as being a designer onto the Creative Fabrica. So keep in mind guys, because I've been getting a lot of the comments, people are confused like how the products are selling for which we are getting paid now the first is no one is downloading from you no one has purchased anything from you but you are still getting paid the second is a single sale purchases the third is a subscription revenue if someone is downloading something from your shop in their monthly subscription onto the creative fabrica so for the single sales you're going to see in the reporting section of your designer dashboard the everything detail about that sale okay and one thing about the subscription uh, downloads that I want to talk about, which is really important, guys, is that note that earnings for subscription are delayed with one month as the payout is done when a subs user subscription renews. So if someone is downloading your stuff in the subscription, the payment will be delayed for one month. Why? Because that person is renewing their subscription in the next month. Like... As a payout is done when a user subscription renews. So that is the thing, guys, you need to keep in mind that a single sale uh, purchases you are seeing onto the Creative Fabrica reporting designer dashboard. But do let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you have more update related to this particular stuff. I would also be updated by you guys. If you know something more than me or if you know better than me, do let me know in the comment section below that regarding the reporting section of the designer dashboard. Do they have the single sale uh, reporting only or is it a subscription as well? Because I think 
that is just a single sale purchases uh, reporting is there only in the reporting section you can't see the subscription downloads i think that's the only case right now but do let me know what you think if you have any more updates about the creative fabrica please update me in the quick comment section below that's it for today's video guys i hope it's you get something out of it and your your confusion is cleared out and also you know about the new feature the two new features of the creative fabrica Thank you so much for tuning in today's video guys. See you for the next time. Take care. Bye guys.